Hi, my name is Katie, and today we're going to do the second half of our tips to traffic citations. And we kind of left off with being courteous but not discussing the citation. So the next thing is protect your rights. There have been a number of interesting developments recently in case law. And the idea is basically that once the officer tells you you're free to go, he can ask you if you'd like to answer any additional questions. And if you say yes, he can engage you in a conversation. And your answers may actually give probable cause to search or prove, you know, another traffic infraction or something like that. Or, you know, a more serious thing like possession or something of that nature. So if the officer says you're free to go, but would you like to answer some more questions? You can always say, no, officer, I'm in a hurry, I have somewhere to be, and I'd like to go now. And they do have to let you go. But once you answer those questions, the damage may already be done. The next tip is make your own record. The officer has memorialized the incident that just occurred, either through a ticket or a more detailed report. And you should do the same. And there is a form available on our website to give you some tips as to what you should be recording. As a general guide, record the weather. Record where you're at, the officer's name, any sort of other conditions. What's the roadway like? Were there any hazardous items? Just anything and everything that you think might be important to discuss with your attorney. It's always better to have too much information than not enough. The last tip is contact your attorney. You don't need to face legal matters by yourself. It is complicated, and working with a prosecuting attorney is something that attorneys are very skilled at, and we have your best interests at heart. No matter what, the prosecuting attorney and the officer, they work for the state, and you should have somebody working on your side, too. So we encourage you to contact us today. Thank you.